In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how uh, to use data validation to add a calendar to a cell. So basically what I have here is a call list of people that I need to call and I need to know when they were called and if they were called, you know, my, my rep clicks here so they get a strike stricken off the list, but I also want to know when they called. And at the moment here, it's just a normal cell, so they would have to come here and, and input the date, you know, um, like January 23, 2022, for example. Uh, so once you add a date to, to a cell, if you double click, you have a little calendar and that makes it very easy to uh, play around with the date. However, in a normal cell, you don't have that option. So what I want, I want all of the cells here under date of call to have the calendar option as default. So all I have to do is select the cells where I, where I want this format applied. And we're gonna come to um, data validation. Okay, so I clicked in data, data validation. And the criteria is um, date. Okay, so it has to be a valid date and I can reject input. So if someone uh, enters anything that is not a date, um, it's going to reject the input. Um, I save and now whenever I come here, if I double click on any of those cells, you see that I'm going to get the calendar. Uh, one thing that is important to note is that um, the format of your day depends on your spreadsheet settings. So you see I have American uh, format here. You could always come to file um, spreadsheet settings and you see I have my locale set as the United States. If you need the date to be by default in European format, uh, you know, Europeans, they have the day and the month after, then you can just change that to a different locale. Probably your spreadsheet uh, the default settings are going to be based on where you are. Um, but if you ever need to change it, that's where you change it. I'm going to cancel because I'm not going to make any changes, but you know that this format here is American. And if you are in doubt, um, you just double check and you can see the calendar. If you want to see how I created the, um, the custom checkboxes, I also have a tutorial for that. I'm going to link it, link it uh, below in the description box.